It's true. I pass expired coupons at the supermarket. Oh, oh do that if you get away. No, no, you don't understand. I pledge money to public television, and I never sent it in. Oh, oh, don't worry, it makes No, them no, when my boyfriend's not home, I don't handle his records by the edges. Relax, oh, relax, relax, relax. Okay, here's the worst. My neighbor asked me to water her plants for her while she was away. I let them die. Well, that's not good. so. That I robbed her apartment to cover up for. Do you right. The country's hottest all-woman comedy team, the High Heeled Women, recently invited PM Magazine to a special rehearsal at the newly renovated Toulouse Theater in New Orleans, where they were performing. Now, if you think you haven't heard of them before, don't feel badly. Most of the time, they're doling out their delightfully wicked humor in New York City. On the other hand, you may not realize it, but you might know them from somewhere else like the plain Jane's alternative for women, not so fonda, the famous Jane's excruciating workout. Now we're ready for the tendon stretch. Now reach, bend over, and touch your heel. Now walk. Now dance. Check your pulse. As crazy as they seem, the women feel they have a message to share. You don't have to be a uh, movie star to be uh, lovable and to be attractive. Well, you may have to be a movie star to be attractive, but not to be lovable necessarily. And that women can be beautiful even if they have thigh bulge. No matter how mundane the problem, whether it be thigh bulge or baggy pantyhose, these comedians find humor wherever they look. We watch the way women act around us and we, we sort of think a lot of that is very funny, so we, uh, we make up skits. We usually have like a, you know, something that irritates us, and that, and then we do a sketch on it. It's sort of cathartic. Oh, what a beautiful bracelet, darling! Wherever did you get it? Paloma Picasso designed it for me. It's marvelous. I'll get you one. Oh, moi! You know, I've been having the most marvelous affair lately with them. Um, Misha Barishnikov. Oh, dancers are marvelous lovers. I'll get you one. Oh, mwah. Check, please. Mwah. Okay, darling, let's see you at the avocado salad. That's four fifty. That's three fifty, you owe me, darling. But, darling, the expression, that's two fifty. Don't get the tax and the tip, dear. Darling, that only goes to two fifty. You owe me a penny, Nine. darling. No, darling, Give me I the don't. penny, Jack. <laughs> The group laughs at critics who call them feminists. We consider ourselves happy fem feminists as opposed to angry angry right feminists really feminism uh, we feminism had really happened before we could do anything about it I mean now I think it's it's a it's a fait accompli Greek cheese yes and uh, I think it's, it's it's been done for us and now we just we're, we're going beyond feminism to just to carry on and to hang drapes in the third world nothing is sacred to these women including a PM interview She's napping. <laughs> no, don't, don't, no, no, no. No I'm snoring. Don't, don't snore. Girls don't snore. No, no. It's okay. Just no, Mary. <laughs> this wasted tape. Mary. Okay. <laughs> If you think this funny foursome ever has a serious moment, forget it. They're always on, but never more so than when they do their answer to the highly acclaimed show on black female oppression called For Colored Girls Who Considered Suicide When the Rainbow Is Enough. Our show is more like for white girls who've considered analysis when electrolysis is enough. of the poor angry bitter rap song strike to the core so it's easy to lament about the poor and depressed but what about us white girls so rich and well dressed we live in condo bondage we never miss a meal but no one ever asks about the pain rich white girls feel from the yacht club to the golf course we suffer every day so E.F. Hutton listen up we are here to And there you have four of America's funniest women named after a pair of shoes. Four.
Which one's a jack?